All right, everybody. So, right now, it's November 28th of 2023. And so, for the third stream that I have going on for this new season of HWH, short for Hobby is Hilarity, is basically going to be a, something a little bit more on the basic side. Yeah. I'm sure someone might pretty much recognize this set. This is the Spiral Tower Raceway from Hot Wheels City. And this exact set actually was used in HWH a little while ago. If you remember several months back, I basically had this in its typical form, which looks more like this. So that's something worth mentioning pretty much. So here's what it normally looks like. But of course you can use this as its own conversion, which works like this. Just simply fold the top half upside down and basically it converts into a giant spiral that can basically go downwards, like so. But I'm basically gonna use this in this exact form pretty much the whole time. And what I'm basically gonna be doing is just simply doing the same exact thing that I had done the first time around when it was in its usual form, basically. The twin spiral raceway form, as opposed to the giant spiral. Basically, this is just what's gonna be done here. In the same way I was able to use other sets over time for multiple functions. And like the first time, well, a giant bucket full of cars is pretty much apparent. So, I'm gonna spend the whole stream here just simply having fun with this configuration because this will be sold on auction eventually on eBay. So of course, let's just get started here. First car that's gonna be shown here is a model I haven't shown in a while, the Nissan R390 GT1. So that's basically how that whole thing works. And we're going to keep repeating this until we go through the whole entire bucket. Now we have, yeah, this is pretty much one of those needle nose models, but that's basically just that. Next up is the Skull Rider. I'm sure that's what it's called. Awesome. So, let's just keep going here. We got Solid Muscle. That was pretty good there. Now we have Alpha Pursuit. It's kind of interesting that it just shakes around, most likely because of how high it is. It's well over two and a half feet tall, as you can see, when it's fully set up like this. Now I have the Honda Racer, which is another model I haven't shown on the, the series for some time. And it barely makes it to the bottom. Here's one of my favorites, Rev Rod. And it went smoothly all the way down. So, 84 Mustang SVO. Yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, it keeps getting hung up on the pillar here. One more time. Um. I don't know whether the count this is a win or not, so we'll just put that there for now. Here we go with a BMW 850. Yeah, a lot of names aren't shown on the base anymore. So if you're trying to collect all the models, you might want to keep a lot of track on them by keeping some notes handy. The Audi 90 Quattro.
That was pretty well done. Here we have a model that I really appreciate for what it is. Epic Fast. Oh, uh, just veered off to the right, so. That was pretty interesting, but here's a model that I don't usually put on layouts because it doesn't do too well. Blade Raider. Now, yeah. didn't quite get there, but whatever. Not much I can do here. 2017 Camaro ZL1. That was pretty well done. Now we have the Cadillac El Mirage, another model that doesn't do all that well. Lamborghini Miura. Quadra Sound. This one's a model that I really appreciate here. But this one is more or less based off of the Chevrolet Avalanche, so that's what I'll just refer to it. <laughs> it got hung up a few times, but you know what? Mustang SVO, one last time. Oh, okay. You got lucky there. Now let's try out Jetster. Seventy Plymouth AAR Cuda. Here we have the Surfin School Bus. Okay. I did not see that coming. Hold on a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it just fell right off the tower. So let's try that again. Oh. Oh man, lots of awkward and exciting moments on stream. Uh, went upside down. That was pretty funny. Now we have the Mazda 787B. Alright. That was pretty good. Here we have the 95 Jeep Cherokee, which I'm sure is also going to fall off the tower too. Oh. Well, what do you know? Did just that. Okay. And fell off again. So, let's try upside down. <laughs> okay, well. It's pretty much the first time I used this model and already proved to be a failure, so bye bye. Here we have the Chrysler Firepower, which I also haven't used for a while. Awesome. Speed Dozer. This one's also pretty chunky. But actually made it to the bottom. Nice. That's a pretty swell way to go. Here we have the custom Honda N600. That was pretty fun there. Next up is Futurismo, a model that also hasn't made many appearances. So here's a really old model that I've had for a long time, the 2 to go
crashes right into the back of the Honda. Uh, that was pretty nice. A little comedic relief, never went wrong. Now we have Berserk. Model with a buzz saw. Oh, went pretty fast, but barely was able to hold on to that last curve. Took two tries, but was able to get all the way. Here we have Glory Chaser. Next is What For Two. Hmm. Sudden death almost. McLaren Speed Tail. That was pretty awesome as well. I Rock Firebird. That was a pretty nice performance as well. Bon Voyage, basically a sailboat on wheels. And barely made it all the way through. Here's another model I haven't used in a while. Cyclops. Oh, okay. Wow. And did it again. <laughs> okay, went the same path as the Surf and School Bus. Okay. That works too. Now we have Hotwiler, which is a model that can basically actuate it, its upper jaw. Oh! Fell off the track. Okay, now we have the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Pretty fast for an EV. Here we have Mattel's Dreammobile, the last of the 2020 models. Up there with the Linster prototype, which is not here today. Now we have the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Oh, okay. We got another vehicle that can fall off. All right, upside down. Yeah, that's not even gonna count, sorry. So, two losses so far. Now we have the Hyundai Spider Concept. That was a pretty good performance as well. HW Formula Solar. Ultra Rage. Celine S7. Two Jet Z. Here we have a Lamborghini Sian. Now, one of the last 2022 models we got is Drone Duty. Sixty-eight El Camino. Oh, well, all right. 
got to the bottom, but while upside down. So it's kind of a debate at this point. Carbide is up next. That was pretty awesome too. Bread box. Uh, wasn't even trying there. Now we have ourselves a Volkswagen Beetle. Not much specifics on that. Well, I guess I can specify that it won today's challenge. Just to go from top to bottom on the spiral. Toyota RSC is up next. Oh, it went upside down. Much like some others, but still made it. Next is Rally Special. That was pretty insane. All right, next up is the 63 Ford Thunderbird. Wow. It's pretty long and has been doing a lot of dragging, but still managed to get through. Here we have an Aston Martin 177. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Next one on the list is the High Roller. I guess they don't call this one a track star for nothing. Group C Fantasy, which is another recent model that we have. A mere perfect run. Next is Power Sander, a model that doesn't do all that well. <laughs> okay. Like I've said, not all too well. Looks like another fail is underway. Muscle Tone is up next. Hung up again. But second time is the charm though. So let's move on. Head gasket is what's up next. So, okay, another one fell off. Well, I'm not even going to bother with a third attempt. Yeah, top heaviness only gets you so far here. Here we got the Chevrolet Fleet Line. Oh, geez. Today is going to be a bit of a rough day here. Well, okay. So, how about we try upside down? Wow. Went a little further, but you know what? Still doesn't really count. Here we have the 62 Mustang Concept. Yeah, that's how we do it. Next is straight pipes. And that was a pretty good run too. Here we have high tech missile. Toyota GR Supra is what we have here. That was a great model. <laughs> rocket Oil Special, which is basically just a remodel of a classic Rocket Oil Special. Model from the early 2000s.
And now we're gonna do speed driver. Basically a screwdriver on wheels. Hmm. Got hung up a bit. And again, so let's try, oh. Let's try doing it differently here. Oh geez. So let's just skip that one, you know? Or at least declare it a fail. Now we have Mostrata MXR. Fast Fish. Pagani Zonda R. Dodge Charger Stock Car. Here we have a Shelby Cobra. Here we have the 86 Toyota van. Oh, okay. Well, double fall off. I guess that's basically just a fail automatically. Next is slide kick. And the last model that we got out of the bucket is 24-7. And surprisingly, makes it all the way down. So, that concludes this piece for HWH. And I hope that you guys enjoyed every bit that I've had to offer here so far. But, since I do plan on making more episodes over time, It'd be pretty helpful if you guys could like, subscribe, comment, follow me wherever you can find me. Stay on the Hollywood side, but maybe more importantly, stay up to date on certain things. As I will in fact have more of these streams coming real soon.